Greetings, I'm Luke Grant, owner and forester of Prudentera. We help Iowa landowners strategically restore thriving, profitable perennials and maintain them for generations. Today, we're gonna to be talking about strategic tree selection. This is a management practice, also known as crop tree release, and it can double the rate of growth of your highest value trees in your woodland, like this black walnut. Given Iowa's mix of rainfall, precipitation patterns, sunlight during the day and throughout the year, and our high quality soils, most of our tree species could live up to 125 years old to maturity. With strategic tree selection, we can decrease the harvest interval from 125 years down to 65 or 70 years. That's a great way for landowners to realize a return on their woodland investment within their lifetimes, as well as ensuring that the next generation has the highest quality woodland available, like keeping trees such as shagbark hickory and black oak in the woodland. Sunlight is one of the few tools foresters have in their toolbox. Too much sunlight in a woodland causes trees to grow lateral branches. See this? This is a scar from an old lateral branch that has since fallen off this black walnut tree. Too little sunlight in a woodland reduces the rate of growth of trees and makes them weak and less likely to thrive. Now we're ready to apply our knowledge into the field. But first we need to clarify our goals and objectives of the landowner. In this case, the landowner values trees with longevity, great habitat value, and long-term timber production. So we take our orange can of spray paint and we find the 30 best trees that achieve those goals and objectives. In this case, shagbark hickory, oaks, walnuts are all favored. We take those best quality trees we mark at four and a half feet above the ground with orange spray paint all the way around the tree so that as we look through the woodland, we know which trees are favored and which trees we should remove. Here's a tree with orange paint on it. This is a shagbark hickory tree and it's the ideal size and diameter to mark for a crop tree release. It's about 10 inches in diameter, which is right in the middle between six and 14, which is the diameter range at which this management practice is the most effective. The response rate of growth of a tree of this size will be much faster and more impressive than a tree twice its size. Now let's look up into the canopy or crown of the tree. That's the part of the tree that has leaves growing on it. As you look up under the canopy on this tree, you see lots of trees around it that are over top or shading it out in all kinds of ways with high competition for sunlight. If we were to remove those trees, we'd let this great tree, shagbark hickory, grow much faster. I've marked with a blue slash of paint on all the trees that are undesirable, elms, hackberry, and honey locust, so that now this shagbark hickory is free to grow and can double its rate of growth and produce more nuts for wildlife. After we finish marking this woodland for our landowner, according to their goals and objectives, we'll come back with chainsaws and cut according to this color-coded prescription. Next video, we'll teach you ways to kill, regenerate, and remove trees with, with ease, efficiency, and effectiveness. Submit your question in the comment box below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. With thriving, profitable ecosystems, we can mitigate all kinds of challenges that we face, like water quality, climate change, and habitat loss. May you find success managing your woodland for longevity and health. Thank you for watching.